The Huskies entered their first round game against Dayton without starters Karan Butler and Suleiman Wan, both suspended by the NCAA, both eligible to suit up on Wednesday. This, but this was Monday against Dayton. Here's Jim Calhoun, a bit nervous coming in. Keith Walskowski, the shot in eight green, the rebound, and the finish. Dayton led at the half by two. Second half, Dayton up six. His name is Yante Holland. He came in averaging just over eight points. Anyway, Holland gets it to go. Dayton leads 51 to 43. You'll hear more from Holland later. Keith Walskowski, meanwhile, cleaning up the mess by Nate Green. Whatever works, the Flyers lead by 12. And then, I promised you Holland, and you got him. The layup and the foul, a career high 24 points for Holland, and the Flyers go on to shock UConn 80 to 66. Said Flyers coach Oliver Purnell, I felt we belonged in this tournament, and we proved it. Tony Stanley and Nate Green combined for 33 points. Holland finished 9 of 12 from the field with six boards. Said losing coach Jim Calhoun, a six foot seven inch man dominated us. I can't tell you how disappointed I am. Six Mike Maryland returning all five starters from a year ago, open with Louisville. Danny Miller finding Terrence Morris is one of the returning starters. Morris scored a game-high 24 points. Lonnie Baxter, the block. Steve Blake pushing it, pushing it up. And Blake will do the right thing, get it to Baxter. Baxter, the finish. Baxter and Morris scored the first 19 points for the Terps. Maryland was up 18 in the second half. Byron Mouton, the pump fake, draws the foul, just like he does in practice, right? Maryland blows out Louisville. The turf shot 61% from the field. Denny Crum usually likes visiting Hawaii, but later, Diggs likes the view again. Another three. Later in the first, still Diggs leading the running Rebs. Oh, why not go for the hat trick from there? UNLV up nine early, still in the first half. Sergio McClain. Enjoy this shot, circus style. Game tied at 36 at the break. Second half. Frank Williams hits the J, and then later in the second, Williams just literally takes over the game for Illinois. Well, actually, he had some help, but we're giving Williams his props because he had 22 points, six boards, six assists, as the Illini beat UNLV 74-69. Gilmore, Richard Jefferson, the alley -oop to Gilbert Arenas. Arenas would finish with 15. Arizona playing without their big guy, Lauren Woods. Michael White. The rebound, the miss, put back right to tournament record 19 boards. Arizona up 24 at the break. Back to Edgerson with a good hustle, going hard on the miss. Takes out oh, a no. cheerleader. I can say that, right? It really it happened. Can. Hey, now. <laughs> Next up for Arizona, a semifinal matchup Tuesday against Dayton. Michael Wright, worth repeating, sets a Maui tournament record with his 19 boards. The loss dropping Chaminade's record to 3 and 44 in the 17 years it has served as host. The long alley oop pass to Antoine Scott, dunks it in under three minutes to play. Richmond down four. Greg Stevenson winds up with the dunk. Spiders pull within two, just over a minute and a half to play. Wake Forest up 61-59. Craig Dawson, the spin move. To dance that drink over here, Spider. And Wake Forest holds on to win 69-61, fighting back from an early 16-4 deficit to win their ninth straight over Richmond. Wake coach Dave Odom said no one was to blame for the early deficit but himself. My team. Terps by three early. Corey Bradford, the three, his 67th straight game with a three-pointer for Bradford. Juan Dixon, very impressed. Off the Illinois miss, Terps on the run. Drew Nicholas. Nicholas finding Lonnie Baxter. 17 points for Baxter. He missed the free throw. Terps by two at the break. Second half. Welcome to the Marcus Griffin Show. Griffin's stage was the glass. Griffin would say later in the second half, he put his butt in the paint. It's where the big boys are. And Griffin showed what it meant to play like the big boys in the paint. 17 of his 19 points coming in that second half. Griffin passing to Cook down low. Cook rejected by Terrence Mars, but Griffin will get it back. Eight boards for him. Frank Williams, he scored 21, but he can't find it from there. Williams will get his own rebound. He can't find it from there, but Griffin is there to tap at home. Half of Illinois' 52 rebounds were offensive. 90 to 80, the final for Illinois. Led by its front line, Illinois goes to the glass and now moves on to the finals. In Arizona for a date in the championship game. Late in the half, Cats up six. Jason Gardner, that's well within his reach. 
The three at the buzzer caps up 37-28. Early second half, Gardner way up, and Richard Jefferson, he went to Moon Valley High, and that was a blast off. Look at it again, just in case, you know, you want to pull a hammy trying to jump up high enough to hit your head on the ceiling or something. He had 13. He was impressed with his own self there. 76-59. Wildcats get a third chance to win the Maui title. They lost in 93 and 97. Cal State Northridge and Pauley. The Matadors undefeated so far, 1-0. Here's why. Brian Heinley to Jeff Paris. That's sweet passing. 6-4 very early. Cal State, though, up five. Marcus Carr getting involved. Heinley from way out. He's got that shot. 51-43. And the boys were favored to win the Big Sky Conference, showing they got some things going on. Lead cut to two. Paris all by himself for the layup. He had a career-high 27. They're up four. Next possession. Marcus Carr, that two you get you three points. Cal State up 67-60. Bobby Braswell's club, the back door to Heinley, and that back door is UCLA right into the parking lot. They are losers, 78 to 74. Talk about your upsets. UCLA just their sixth loss in 73 non-conference games at Pauley Pavilion since 1989. First half, Isaiah Victor. Victor. Can't find it. Vincent Yarbrough has been lifting. He had nine points. He came in averaging over 15. Just over a second left in the first half. Off the inbounds. Freddie Owens. The anchor is up and you are swept away 55 feet away. Take another look just in case you stepped away to butter your bagel. Freddie Owens is only bucket of the game worth showing about a zillion times. Second half, Tennessee's Tony Harris gets to work. Balls up 12. Four of eight from three-point range was Harris. Later in the second half, it's Harris again. He finished with 22 points. He had six assists in this game and it helped Tennessee to the victory. As the Volunteers win their 31st straight non-conference home game, they are 3-0, and and Balls coach Jerry Green was most impressed with his team's poise and ability to... ...basketball visit to Clemson. Clemson's Will Solomon, Seton Hall's Darius Lane, decide to have a horse contest in the second half. Solomon, jumper lane in the corner. That's good for three points. Solomon again, 3, 24 of his 31 came after intermission. Lane, he had 29. Let's see three more of those. Yeah, seven of nine three-pointers. He was warm. Late second half, Clemson trails by two. Solomon. Adam Allen Spock inside. He's just 3 of 12, but that was a good one to make. Game tied at 74. Two minutes later, Dustin Braddock at the shot up. He had seven points, two of them there to tie the game. 79 78 Seton Hall. Andre Barrett made the first, missed the second. Let's go to the other end. Solomon driving, shoots, but Eddie Griffin, a freshman, is there to swat it away. Seton Hall escapes, 79-78. A couple of nice plays, Barrett and Griffin down the stretch by the freshman. It's been a while since Pirates' Tommy Amaker went home happy from Clemson and Cincinnati. Marshall's Tamar Slay. His team was down by as many as 15, and that puts him up 64-62. He had 28 points. Two minutes left. Off the air ball. You got to have the air ball to go off the air ball. Donald Little giving effort inside. Jamal Davis is there for the hoop and the foul. Makes the free throw. Bearcats lead by two. 18 seconds left. Now watch Travis Young. He's going to be down here tying his shoe. And Slay then dribbles it off his leg. And because we were oh, lacing up, he couldn't get there. That's why they put Velcro on shoes now, so this kind of thing doesn't happen. Apparently, Marshall's not up to that. 79-75 in favor of Cincinnati. Leonard Stokes give him the defensive stop, and he also made four free throws in the final 31 seconds. CLA upset, and on the other side of town, USC and San Diego. And how about San Diego? Dana White, the steal, they're up by a dozen early. Later in the first, Trojans on a run, down by three. Desmond Farmer, that's from pretty far out. You get three points for that. Trojans tied up at 26. After the water break, USC up eight. Sam Clancy, nice passing, and then he sticks the jumper. Foot was on the line, just two. USC wins at 78-65. Kentucky over Jacksonville State. Gets their first one of the season, a 26-zip run late in the first half. The fighting chips are not impressed by Rose Bowl tickets. They're down one, time running out, and for some reason, our man Carson Cunningham is going to throw up a shot, and we got a three-on-one coming the other way for the fighting chip was David Weber to Todd Schrotenbohr, and it's in, and it's good, and the upset, 67-66, Mount Pleasant, you go crazy. Our Sports Center showcase, and there is the trophy, and it's shiny, Jason Gardner. Gardner had five threes in the first half, 18 of his 25 points coming in that first half. Arizona up eight, Illinois down by three, under 10 seconds of the half. Demir Kupalia.
enjoying the journey. 13 points for him. Illinois trails by one at the break. Second half, Arizona was up five. Luke Walton, nice playmaking to Gilbert Arenas. Nine points for Arenas. He missed the free throw. Arizona up seven. Frank Williams. Boy, he was feeling it from long distance. Down the stretch, Illinois trails by six. It's Williams again from three. Eight of his 27 points came in the final minute of this game. The comeback continuing by Illinois. Gardner, though, gets the inbounds. Williams comes out of nowhere from the block. Illinois comes back up the court. And then from Williams, Sean Harrington will take it from there. 15 points for Harrington. Illinois within one. Under 25 seconds left. 77-74 now. Williams with the drive misses it, but he gets the putback. Illinois down one again. After two free throws by Arizona, Corey Bradford looking, looking for the three-pointer to tie it. Luke Walton with a big block. Last chance for Illinois. Down three. 1.2 seconds remaining. Gilbert Arenas with a block. Arizona recovers it and hangs on. And they get to shine their own trophy. And they have their victory. Yep, runners up in 93 and 97. Champions in 2000 in Maui. Tourney MVP Michael Wright finished with 16 points and nine boards. Richard Jefferson added 18 points. The Cats holding Illinois' big boys on the front line. Marcus Griffin, Brian Cook, and Sergio McLean to just a combined 14 points and 15 rebounds. First half. Terrence Morris inside. That's easy. 17 points. Second half off the inbounds. Tony Stanley getting the pass, nailing the triple. Flyers up 65-55. Dayton up 68-64. Shot clock winding down. Stanley hits it. He was five of seven from three to him. And Dayton wins at 77-71. Stanley finished with 21 points in the clutch three. All of it after finding out late Tuesday his mother had passed away. Kid said it wasn't too difficult to play. If anything, my mom would have wanted me to play hard for her. Flyers come out of Maui 2-1 and one in games against three ranked teams. Preseason NIT, the semis, Duke and Texas. Shane Battier, early in the first half, Mike Dunleavy. This kid's talented, you know it, but it's good to see. The one-handed jam, 11 points for Mike. Duke led by 16 at the break. Still looks 12 years old. Carlos Boozer, one of his 11 boards, up to Dunleavy. Dunleavy probably knows it looks like 12 and doesn't like it. To Jason Williams, he had 20. A little while later, Duke up 55-31. Just coasting from there. Nate James with a board up to Dunleavy. And then Dunleavy is not a hog. Up to Boozer. Boozer had 14. Duke, big victory. Career victory number 501 for Coach K. Duke in the championship game of the preseason on NIT. The semifinal of the preseason NIT. Temple, Indiana. Bill Cosby. Promising John Chaney, putting pots for the winner. Now, eight seconds left on the shot clock. Ronald Blackshear decided, well, he's open, and from that where he'll certainly bring the defense out. End of the first half. Lynn Greer over to Alex Westby for three. He had 13. It was 45-30 Owls at the break. Second half, Hoosiers trying to rally as Hoosiers often do. David Hawkins rejected by Jaron Jeffries going the other way. Andre Owens led the Hoosiers with 16 points. The lead's cut to 10. But back out to 14, Quincy Wadley. Oh, the runner, 14 points, and yes, putting pops for all as the Owls win at 69-61. They advance to play Duke for the title. First loss for head coach Mike Davis, first loss for IU in the preseason NIT since 88. They had won 10 straight, including championships. With that holiday spirit, Loyola and Notre Dame. The anchor is up and we are swept away by Notre Dame's Matt Carroll. Matt Carroll just loved the long distance view. Five of six from three point range in this game against Loyola. In fact, Notre Dame set a school record in this game with their 16 three pointers. We just prefer, for some reason, we like showing you Matt Carroll. And we'll keep showing it until he misses. Matt Carroll. They call him MC. Notre Dame crushes Loyola 107 to 68. Irish.